Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my April favourites. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The first product I've been absolutely obsessed with throughout April is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I won't talk too much about this because I've done an entire video about it, which I'm going to link in the down bar. But basically, I'm obsessed with this palette. It has all the colours that I would ever need and I love it so much. I'll just very quickly show you what it looks like though. This is the palette and these are the shades. They're all really, really beautiful and really pigmented and I have just been absolutely obsessed. But um, I will link that video in the down bar so that you can see a little bit more about the palette if you want to. The next thing that I've been loving in April is something that I've kind of rekindled my love for and that is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the Tropical Scent. This stuff is fantastic. It really helps you on those days when you just can't be bothered washing your hair. If you're anything like me, washing my hair is a little bit of a struggle. It takes forever. I've got to dry it. I've got to straighten it. I've got to treat it. I've got to do all this stuff to it just to get it to look like this because I have like insane curly ringlet hair. So. I don't always feel like doing it like three times a week or whatever so in between I really like using the Batiste dry shampoo and it smells really amazing and you get a 200ml bottle or spray can whatever you call this um, from Priceline and it's like $10 or something like that I think from memory I could be wrong don't quote me but whatever it is it's really not very much and it lasts a long time and smells amazing gives you more longevity out of your washes so highly recommend this one. The next thing I've been loving is my Revlon Crease Shadow Brush and it just looks like this. It sort of puts on the product and blends it at the same time which is why I love it. The only problem with this one is that the little fibers um, fall out quite a little bit and so usually when I use it, here's one falling out right now. I don't know if you can see that there. So that's a little bit annoying but apart from that the shape of the brush is really fantastic and it's also got this sort of tapered design which means it doesn't roll off the table when you put it on the table so that's quite a good idea um, and I'll probably buy some more Revlon brushes just to try them out but um, yeah I do love this one the shape is really amazing and it does the job perfectly it's just that it leaves the little fibers that's the only annoying part now next up I have been using a new mascara which I will also be showing you in a moment and it has meant that I can go back to using just regular makeup removers so I've now sort of started using my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water a little bit more and I'm really enjoying this at the moment. It just takes off everything. I usually use a oily makeup remover first if I need to and then this over the top and it sort of removes all the traces of the leftover mascara or eyeliner and it's just a really great product and I've had it for ages and been using it quite a bit lately um, and it hasn't sort of run down that much. It does say that it gives you 200 uses and it's a 400ml bottle. And I'd say that's fairly close actually because I've had a lot of uses out of this. I haven't like counted them but it's lasted me a long time so I would definitely recommend this product. Next up I've got something that the lovely ladies at Mecca Maxima kindly gave me last time I was there which is a little sample of the Ren Eye Lift. This is sort of like an illuminating eye cream and it tightens and illuminates at the same time. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see, I'll try not to pour it on the floor, but you probably can't see, but it's got little illuminating sort of shimmer through it. And um, so it gives your eye a nice shimmer and then after it's been on there for a while, it sort of tightens. The I'm trying to um, use it to work on my dark circles because they're still really annoying me. So this one is quite expensive I think, but I think it's about $70 or something like that for the little bottle, but I think this is going to last me quite a while, this little sample, because I've been using it nearly every day and it's still full, so you only need a really little bit, so I'd probably recommend getting this if you're having a problem with dark circles under your eyes. Next I have the Models Prefer Finale Finishing Powder Compact, and this is just a little compact with some translucent powder that I use to set my concealer and this is just a really good translucent powder. The other translucent powders that I had used were claiming to be translucent but they weren't. They were actually, they had colour in them and that wasn't working for me so I just wanted something that was truly translucent and when you put this on you cannot see a thing so this was perfect. Next up I was in Kmart I think it was the other day and I was looking for just general beauty products, anything that I haven't seen or that I might like to pick up. And I'd been looking for a while for a new eyelash curler. I just had the Manicare one and it's just a little bit short. So I needed a wider one. So I picked up this one. Um, it's by the brand U Ubu. 
from Kmart and it's this really cool pink and blue color and as you can see the size is quite big so it fits over the whole eye and it gets all those little ones down in there all the little eyelashes down in there so it's really really good next of all I have been looking at this Mimco cosmetics case for a while I'm waiting for it to go down in price and then I just decided I don't really want to spend that much on a cosmetics case so I went to Kmart and while I was there I picked up this little one for five dollars and it's sort of like you can't really tell on camera but it's actually like a rose gold it's obviously pleather but who really cares and then it's just got these little zips and it opens up like this and it's got a little mirror inside and plenty of space to put stuff so I think that will be really good for just traveling and things like that um, and five dollars you can't really go wrong so it doesn't matter if makeup spills in it or anything um, yeah just just a little something something to bring all my new products so yeah I like that one the next product is my mascara that I mentioned earlier and it is the Clump Crusher Extensions Lash Blast by CoverGirl. I just picked this one up from um, Coles, I think and it's just a really great formula. It's literally the, what it says, like the name Clump Crusher is exactly right. It's exactly what it is. So the brush looks like this and it's sort of curved and then the formula is just really beautiful. It does not clump. Like I can put five coats of this and there will be no clumps whatsoever. It's also really good at lengthening the lashes and my favorite thing about it is that it comes off with water because the Aire Perez one that I was using before I absolutely adore that mascara but it doesn't come off it's so hard to get off you have to use oily makeup remover and you have to sort of target your lashes so I'll be using this one from now on until it runs out and then I'll probably use my other Aire Perez and then I don't know I'll make a decision of which one I want to go with going forward but for now I'm really really enjoying this the only thing I don't like about it is the packaging it's sort of too fat and I sort of have trouble getting it open I don't know it's a bit weird maybe just because I'm used to the Aire Perez which is very thin but um that's really not a big issue I mean I'll get over it I'll get used to it so yeah definitely recommend that one my next product is an absolute necessity where I live and that is a hand cream. This one is the pink grapefruit hand cream from The Body Shop and it is just what it says. It's a grapefruit scented little hand cream. As you can see I've used quite a bit of it already. They're quite little, um, 30 mils, but I think they're only about $8 or something like that and they come in a variety of flavours. So I have grapefruit, strawberry and mango which were gifted to me by my boyfriend's sister and I'll be using those and then I'll probably go back for shea butter and coconut because those two sound really good but yeah definitely recommend this it soaks into the hands really really quickly which is something I love because I hate having greasy hands after you apply moisturizer so if you're looking for something that will soak into your hands and not just sit there like a big greasy mess then I would definitely go for this one. Next up is something that I decided to try when I saw it in a chemist down the coast and it is the Redwind Coconut Balm. So this one contains 100% certified organic coconut oil, provides natural hydration, soothes, relieves and moisturizes. So you get 25 grams, I think it was about $10 maybe. And I've been using this as a lip balm and also on my hands because my hands get quite like dry around here in the winter. Um, not that it's winter, it's only autumn, but whatever, same thing, it's freezing. It is beautiful and it smells like coconut, so you can't go wrong with that. Now last but not least, I have another essential for the cold weather. Now I also have migraines and I use this to soothe my sort of head pain, as well as to just hug at night if it's freezing cold, and that is this little owl heat pack. I got this quite a while ago from Kmart. I'm sure that it's, oops, I'm sure that it's probably for children. But I really like this so basically it's got this little opening at the back and you pull the owl's head off which is a little bit intense really when you think about it but it's just got this little wheat pack inside and you put this into the microwave for one minute on each side like that and heat it up and then you put it back inside the owl casing you don't have to but I think it just sort of helps to not burn your face off if you do that so it's probably a good Sort of way to go but um yeah you put it back in there like that and then just velcros back down and it lasts quite a while like quite a few hours it stays hot and it's just really soothing and nice so i would have to recommend this or something similar for the winter um and for people who have migraines try this try putting it on your head and um see if it helps i usually start with it on the front of my head like that and then 
put it on the side like that and on the side like that and then I generally fall asleep because it's so warm and soothing and lovely and then I usually wake up without a migraine which is the best thing ever if you suffer from migraines you will know what I'm talking about so I hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and leave me a little comment below let me know what you've been loving in April and I will see you in my next video bye